Alright, so welcome back. So I've got uh, some wire here that has been tinned already. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wire up the USB data lines. Um, so we're just going to kind of pull up the first cable in. And it's fairly simple. So I'm just following the simple diagram of uh, where everything is or where it should be um, according to USB specs so I'm just going to fill in the spot with some solder which is fairly simple I'm just filling the hole first, not really making its final resting place, just to make life a little easy. So once the solder's warm enough, it will just push right into place. Okay, so now that we have these two completely soldered in, we'll go ahead and trim off the excess. So now we have two wires that we just need to twist up. Uh, the reason why we're twisting this is to um, reduce some of the white noise that can be produced uh, with just a straight wire. Um, we've seen some issues with the, uh, the wire itself just disconnecting and then reconnecting the device and uh, to eliminate that I just simply twist them together. And it basically creates a shielding for it. So now that we have our twisted wires, that is good to go. So now we have the USB wired um, and now it is on to the power. So we will trim these guys down just a smidge because we don't need all of the extra wire here it's not being poked through um, these are just simple pads so let's put that down just a smidge and let's solder these just a little bit Gonna give it some space on the pad to adhere to. Now, I have noticed on my other build that I had to wire this in a little differently um, as far as the, the cable routing goes. Uh, let me grab that guy real quick so I had to kind of make way around this piece here um, simply because there is a stud or uh, the back piece where the battery compartment goes uh, just right over it so if you can avoid this entire area the better um, so we will go ahead and do that. Yeah. 
And when you are soldering, make sure that you do a full connection on it. Um, because if you do like a space in between the solder, uh, it creates what's called a cold solder joint. And uh, it's not a full connection. It kind of, it, not enough electricity can get through. Even though we're dealing with super low voltage uh, and very low amperage, it, uh, it does not make a good connection it, it won't go all the way through so make sure that the wires are touching the pads uh, instead of having the solder completely in the middle and you just goop it on there can't stress that enough um, I've seen it happen on the forum so far and uh, seen a lot of weird issues so make sure you do that and you should be good so now that we have this all squared away um, I don't have another speaker uh, for this build, so I'm going to build it without the speaker at the moment. Because uh, once it's once it is all together and complete, it's just simple as wiring one up as so. So it's just finding what your negative and your positive on your speaker is. A lot of times it is labeled for you, so it's easy to put in for you. Um, but yeah.